So we have two main areas of work. Um, one area of work is advocacy mm -hmm. and the second area of work is technical support. What do we mean? So when we say advocacy, the purpose of advocacy is to raise awareness about hearing loss, about the causes, the impact, the prevalence, the uh, prevention, um, etc. of hearing loss at all levels. So at global level, but also within the countries and also going down to the uh, community level. So it is important for us also to um, address all levels, including the individual level. Um, so how do we do that? We do that through development of tools and messages. For example, uh, and the tools and messages have to be evidence-based. So a lot of work needs to go into the development of those tools because um, often each and every uh, statement which is uh, put out by WHO would have a lot of work behind it in order to validate uh, that information. So. Um, advocacy, which is evidence-based advocacy, with, and that includes release of data such as the estimates you may have seen that 360 million live with hearing loss, so on and so forth, or 1.1 billion are at risk. So all that, that data, but also messages make listening safe. Um, what are the, the hearing loss or ear care can avoid hearing loss. So those kind of messages which are evidence-based so we um, develop those key messages and try to spread them um, at the various levels. So targeting different uh, people or different uh, sections of the society. It may be press. Press or media is one where we would do press releases using the WHO communication channels. But at the same time, we, we may send out some information to the countries and also develop materials which uh, would be used by um, end users, by individuals, in order to uh, understand what we are talking about. It may be social media outreach where we can address uh, uh, or even um, we even do uh, like question and answer responses to individuals in order to address or in order to raise awareness at all levels. So advocacy is one very uh, important part of our work. Uh, the second part is technical support. And when we say technical support, again, we mean two things. So in technical support, there are two aspects. One is to develop, um, again, evidence-based tools for of technical support. So what is a tool of technical support, for example, is um, a rec some recommendations about how to, uh, recommendations about infant hearing screening. Mm -hmm. So what is the process of infant hearing screening? What is the need to address it? How it can be done? What are the common practices in the world? So we have, for example, a document about that. Then we have the training resources. So training manuals for different levels of workers within the health system to train them about hearing care. So then, but, and then the second part of the technical support is um, a more individualized uh, assistance to countries when they are in the process of developing their hearing care strategies. So we try to um, support them or assist them in undertaking a situation analysis and developing their strategies studying the health systems, sharing practices from different parts of the world, um, helping or, or supporting them in finding what could be the best fit for that particular situation, uh, also in monitoring and evaluation. So um, that is a more hands-on and personalized support to the country. So these are the two key areas of work, advocacy and technical support.